This might easily be one of the best chicken thigh meals I've made in a long time. And I hadn't cooked for five months, so getting back into it has just been sheer joy. So I started this recipe off by just adding some sweet peppers, a little onion that I just quartered. I also added garlic as well as a chili. This is bomb, by the way, you guys. So if you don't like heat, leave the chili out. I drizzle some oil. I'm using olive oil for this one. But you can use any oil. If you want vegetable oil, that's fine. And then just bake it in an oven for about 15 minutes. Uh, in a pot, a large pot, I've just added some mixed spices and topped it off with some hot water. This is some good flavor going in there. And then I'm going to add a little sugar, very little, maybe one teaspoon at most. And about one teaspoon of salt as well. Pretty easy so far, right? Okay, to that I'm going to add some chicken thighs. I deboned them so they're now boneless chicken thighs. I just prefer to eat when it's boneless. Although, you know, leaving the bone does have extra flavor. I just didn't want that this time. I boiled it for about 15 minutes as well. And then you want to take your chicken out and set it aside. But don't throw away that nice luscious stock. I added some rice to that and I just cooked the rice as per normal rice cooking instructions. So now my peppers are all grilled and they look great. So I added them into a blender. If you don't have a blender, you can use a mortar and pestle. Just, in Swahili we call it Honda, just grind it away, but it's okay. So once uh, you're done, you can add some lemon juice, a little oil, a sprinkle of salt, and always make sure you taste it. Very important, you need to make sure that your sauce is nice and balanced and tastes like you like it. And yo, it was hot from that one chili. Oh, that chili was just death. Okay, so I added this sauce to my chickens, and that's going to be sort of my marinade. Now remember we've already boiled the chicken, parboiled it rather, so it's already cooked to an extent. So this is just um, to char it and give it extra flavor. I'm now making a sauce separate. I've added some lime, a little salt, some chili flakes, mm, already love it. A little olive oil, again you can use vegetable oil, up to you. I added some cilantro, dania, coriander, whatever you call it in your part of the world. And then I closed it up. While I wasn't well, somebody decided to break my machine, my chopper, I'm not thrilled, but it's okay, it's fine, as long as it's going round. That's the most important thing. I'm still mad though. Okay, I added a teaspoon of garlic because I've forgotten to add that. And you just want to blitz this together. And that's your sauce. It's so full of flavor. But make sure you taste as you go along. Mmm. Look at that. And top that beautiful lusciousness with the sauce. Ooh, namezamate. That means I'm salivating. This meal was so tasty, you guys. Give it a try. If you left me alone with that whole plate, I would have finished everything. Catch you in the next video.